This wall at Acton High School will soon be decorated with the first recipients of the Wall of Honor program. Supervisor of School Business Nicole Lumber says it was important to move ahead with this inaugural celebration despite the pandemic. Acton is such a great little school and the town itself is such a great little town. Um, you have to take every opportunity to blow your own horn and celebrate your triumphs and share your successes. And especially for kids right now, you know, the last year and a half, things have really changed. And, um, you know, with a bit of luck, it won't, won't be like this forever. But more so than ever, I think kids need to be reminded that um, they can reach for the stars. So how does the Wall of Honor work? Sean Brown is a teacher and guidance counselor at Acton High and says the nomination process is pretty simple. There was a criteria that was established. So there was a committee that was struck to get together and, uh, and decide on a criteria. And the criteria is pretty broad. Uh, it's pretty much um, uh, something where somebody has led or have, has been a leader in the community or in the nation as a whole. And, it's, and also there's a wow factor associated with them. So something that just... You know, you sit back and you think, wow, that was a that was a really that was a really good accomplishment. Yeah. And then the nomination process went out to our community via our website to social media uh, to to have members of our community nominate um, potential inductees. So the committee just more or less put out the form and uh, it was members of Acton and the Acton community that wrote back and said, here are some candidates for you to consider. And then the committee met and uh, based on the criteria and based on a, a variety of other factors, um, we, we chose a couple of candidates, so three candidates, and um, then our principal contacted the candidates and, and said if they're willing, um, they, we would like them to be uh, the first inductees of our, of our wall of honor. And they, all three of them um, have accepted, which is great. And the three recipients this year are Mayor Rick Bennett and Councillor Clark Somerville for their work in the community, and Alan Scott, a bomb squad specialist with Peel Regional Police and a volunteer firefighter. Both Lumbers and Brown say these recipients are a great example to show current students that the possibilities are endless when it comes to life after high school. We want them to realize that... Um, you know, someone else from this small town has achieved so much and we want it to open train of thought and we want it to create awareness of possibilities that might otherwise not have been realized. It's not so much the subjects that you are going to learn in our school, it's going to be the experiences and the, the opportunities that uh, you, you take upon yourself to propel you to where you want to go. And I think you'll find that uh, after you review the videos of our three candidates, I don't think a lot of them might have been saying things like, uh, I'm going to be the mayor of Halton Hills. I don't think that that would, was probably on Rick's uh, radar, but there he is. He's our mayor. The inaugural celebration was done virtually at the school's end of year assembly. The Wall of Honor is expected to be built in the next school year, but in the meantime, you can take a look at the virtual wall and watch the recipients' videos on Acton High School's website at act.hdsb.ca. For Halton News, I'm Melissa Candelaria.